We're going to look in this video at how we differentiate negative powers of x. So negative powers of x can often lead to simple and avoidable mistakes. So the standard rules of differentiation still apply, but it's easy to make an error. Uh, so have we look at this. So this is your standard rules of differentiation. If you have y is equal to ax to the power of n, then to differentiate, you multiply by the power. It comes down and multiplies, and you reduce your power by 1. So we're going to do the same thing here. And at the minute, they have given their question in index form. If they give their question in index form, this is the easy type of question. Uh, then you leave your question index form, you leave your answer in index form too. So here we're going to differentiate. So you multiply by your power. So 3 times minus 4 will just be minus 12. And you reduce your power by 1. So this is where people make mistakes. If you're reducing minus 4 by 1, minus 4 minus another 1 is minus 5. And that is a bit, this is a bit where people will make mistakes. Okay, for your second example. Again, our dy by dx is equal to, so multiply by your power, minus 25 now times minus 3 will be plus 75, and reduce your power by 1, minus 3 minus another 1 is minus 4. Okay, next bit, uh, you've got your 5, and it gets multiplied by minus 7, which gives you minus 35, and my power then gets reduced by 1, it is just going to be minus 8. And my last one, 4 differentiated, 4 is a constant, differentiate 4, you just get 0. Okay, uh, the next one is when we've, you've got an x on the bottom line or an x on the dom denominator or a power of x on the denominator. So basically what you want to do in these questions is get your thing into index form so that it looks more like this before you can get started. So that's where we really have, we have an extra step to do at the start and we'll have an extra step to do at the end as we will see. So the first thing I'm going to do in this one, in this example, is to write it back in index form. So one over x cubed is the same as sorry, one over x cubed is the same as x to the power of minus three. So this is what I want to differentiate. So I just write down now I can only at only at this stage would I try and start my differentiation. So to differentiate, remember, you multiply by your power, so it's minus three times x, and my power gets reduced by one. The power was minus 3, minus 3 minus another 1 is minus 4. Now look at the question, and this really to me is the difficult part of this. The question is not in index form, so we have to get it back in this fractional form where you're, where you're allowed powers of x on the bottom line. So I'm just going to write down again what I have. I have dy by dx is equal to minus 3x to the minus 4. Now I'm going to do a couple of steps in here which I hope really in the future you will not need, but this really is what is going on in my head when I am I'm doing these questions, but I'm showing you all the steps. So here, all I'm going to do is split this up. That is minus 3 times x to the minus 4, and then that is the same as minus 3 times x to the minus 4. If we refer back to this, your 4 has been is replacing your n, so x to the minus 4 will be the same as 1 over x to the power of 4. So that's really 1 over x to the power of 4 and if you do that minus 3 uh, it's on the top line so it's going to go up here so it can be minus 3 over x to the power of 4 so your final answer is minus 3 over x to the power of 4 and that's us done Okay, next example, the same thing we have to do here is to rewrite rewrite our expression in index form. So it's 3 times x to the minus 5. You're now good to differentiate. So dy by dx then, differentiate this thing. The minus 5 multiplies to give you minus 15. That's now x. And the power reduces to, by 1, sorry, to x to the minus 6. Okay, again, I'll show my steps in for this. That's minus 15 times x x to the minus 6, which is going to be 1 over x to the power of 6. That minus 15 goes on to the top line, so it's minus 15 x to the power of 6, and that's you done. Okay, we've better work to do in this example. The first thing you've got to do is to get it in, in index form. So the first one is just going to be 7 over 2 times x to the minus 4. Okay, when we do this, you multiply by your power, so it's minus 4 times the 7 over 2, 
and you reduce and then that's times and you reduce your power by one so it goes down to minus five okay i could have done a wee bit of cancelling here but i'm not actually going to do that cancelling at this stage there's no reason why not but i'm uh, just just to show you how things will uh, cancel out later on anyway minus minus four times the seven is going to give you minus 28 uh, over the two and i've just changed that x to the minus five to be one over x to the power of five and then we can cancel that down and that's just going to be minus 28 multiplied on the top times one is just minus 28 bottom line is 2x to the 5 and then over here that's just going to be minus 14 over x to the 5. okay we could have done that an awful lot simpler maybe so just to show you here how we may have wanted to do that one so from your second line just you could have just said or dy by dx just equals and what do we have we had minus 4 times 7 over 2 times x to the minus 5 and first of all minus 4 goes into the 2 sorry 2 goes into the minus 4 twice uh, so that's going to be minus 2 times 7 times x to the minus 5 minus 2 times 7 is 14 x to the minus 5 is 1 over x to the power 5 and that's it so there's lots of different ways we can do that it's the same sort of thing whatever way you want to do it okay first thing we would do in this question uh, first thing I would do is I would cancel down wherever you can as you'll see in the next example anywhere you can make life a wee bit easier for yourself in these questions is a big help so top and bottom both divide by 5 so it becomes 1 over 2 x cubed we're not actually in index form yet so it's a half upon x to minus 3 is what you have we're now good to go and we're going to use as few steps as we can here so first thing i'm going to sort out my uh, x this is me sorting out my x to the minus three it's one over x cubed and that's the x to the minus three and then i have a half is multiplying that and then that's going to be one one on the top and two x cubed on the bottom line so a nice horizontal line here uh, to show what's on the bottom line the numerator is one the denominator is two x cubed that's what the denominator is okay last example here uh, we're not ready to go we're not in index form so get it in index form first that's going to be two x to the five that's going to be seven over three x to the six that's absolutely fine the next term is the problem one that's going to be minus uh, minus two over uh, five minus two over five x to the minus 3 and then plus 7x minus 192 so if i could get rid of that we plus i can't seem to do it it wouldn't let me do it for some reason let's score that out uh, and then we're good to go okay uh, here all we want to do is differentiate this is not any more difficult than the previous examples it's just longer so just take your time do term by term 2x to the power 5 gets differentiated it's just going to give you 10 x to the power of 4 and then the 6 multiplies down 6 times 7 over 2 over 3 6 goes into sorry 3 goes in itself once 3 goes into the 6 twice so that's just going to be 6 times uh, sorry i'll just show that 6 times 7 over 3 and that's times x to the power of 5 next one the 3 multiplies down so it's going to be minus 3 times uh, minus 2 fifths which is going to be plus and that's going to be 6 over 5 reduce the power remember that's going to be minus 4 and then plus 7 differentiate the 7x to give you 7 the minus 190 sorry 192 you get is a constant differentiates to give you 0 and then if you go on from here you're going to have 10x to the 4 and then we're doing this we cancelling down 3 goes in itself once 3 goes into 6 twice so that 6 just becomes 2 2 times 7 gives you 14 so that's just going to be plus 14x to the 5 and then that's going to be and um, look at how they give the question they give it with this in uh, the awkward sort of form where you've got the power on the bottom line so i've got to put that back that, that way so at the side i'm just going to look at this just to make sure i get this right we have 6 over 5 times x to the minus 4 that's the same as 6 over 5 times 1 over x to the 4 which is the same as 6 on the top line 5x to the 4 
on the bottom line. So I'm happy with this. Write it in properly. That's now 6 over 5x to the 4. Just again to say, make sure it's a nice horizontal line to show that the 6 is the numerator, 5x to the 4 is the denominator. Okay, that's us done for this bit of notes. You're now ready to do exercise 6c and exercise 60.